Hey, welcome to the Rusty Dusty Picker channel. Thanks for coming along. Um, we have a, uh, a special request from my beloved daughter at school, and she and, um, and uh, everybody at the 312 are looking for a, uh, a 312 sign, which is essentially the uh, house number, apartment number of their, um, of their unit. So we will accommodate and I'm very excited to do this. Not sure what I'm going to do, but this is a piece of driftwood I picked up a while ago. Um, <clears throat> don't want to geek out too much, but you can see where this was sticking out and getting sun bleached. And this is where back in the reeds, um, it was kind of wedged into, uh, you know, in, into the sand and the muck a little bit and kind of pulled it out and I've cleaned it up. I've done a little sanding on it, not, nothing too much. And um, of course, we're going to preserve the hardware. Everybody knows the rules. You have to keep the hardware with these things. Um, it, it just, don't ever pull them out, please. You break my heart. So the hardware goes along with it. When you seal it, you know, that's not going to impale anybody or, or give them uh, a disease. Typically with things like this, I will whitewash the back and provide a Sharpie with it so that people that are visitors and such can sign in or or write a message or mock each other or whatever they want to do. And um, somebody, maybe the last person standing, will um, will end up with this piece or not. Or, the, or it will just stay with the unit. But anyway, let's not, let's not get crazy. So... Yeah, so I'm going to do a 312. I'm probably going to use this area. One of the things that's challenging making signs when they're not real dark or not real light is you got to remember, and I learned this the hard way again, is you got to put darks on lights and you got to put lights on on darks. So I'm, I'm going to break it, at least one rule and I'm going to use as bright as a white as I can find in the shop here for the numbers. Um, and I'm going to do that over here over the darkest portion. And so let me, let me grab the stencil that we're going to do that with and continue. Okay. So I, I have the stencil, um, that I want to use ready to go. I am completely breaking the rules here. I mean, everybody knows the rules, but I'm, I'm breaking every one of my rules again on this piece. Um, I'm going to actually stencil these numbers on here exactly the way you you see them right now um, I, I don't know how you would describe that it's just kind of a I don't know artsy fartsy or just just getting jiggy with it <laughs> I mean I I don't know but for some reason for this piece I want to do that um, just to make it a little more interesting for these guys and um, you know something to talk about I guess so right now I've got um, I've got my white paint out and I'm going to stencil them right in place, right where they sit. And and I guess deal with the consequence, consequences, mostly for myself. 48 degrees in the shop today, which is a little bit better. Well, not as much sniffling, complaining, and such, so we're almost... We're almost there. We're almost to where I can complain that it's too hot. All right. In addition to the numbers, I'm going to um, use some of the school colors to add accent. Um, how, I don't know, but I do know the colors and I do um, I'm as I'm doing this, I'm formulating ideas on, on how to pull that off and get this thing looking sharp. I think I mentioned I whitewashed the back so that they can um, they can sign in and have some you know have some tangible memories of of the three one two crew. So. really 
really uncomfortable not doing things by the rule book, but I, I, I don't know. Just mumbling to myself. Okay. So, one, two, three. All right, so let's see what we can make out of that. Okay, cool. So now um, let's get some colors going here. We're going to do um, Drexel is a uh, basically a dark blue and yellow uh, school color type of a thing. So I'm going to use some bright yellow. I'm using bright because usually, usually I like something a little bit more muted, but it's on a, it's on a dark background, so it should... Um, should balance itself out so good quickly 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 this piece of wood obviously I should have mentioned has this nice um, well-defined lip I guess it's part of a um, um, what would you say a shingle system where they they fit into each other, tongue and groove, or something to that effect. I think I'm close. Forty-two degrees here in the shed for those to keep keeping score at home. Did I just call it a shed? I'm not Lonnie from um, Shed Flips. It's my shop. Or garage. Anyway. By the way, if, you know, if if you like, um, actually, yeah, I mean, you, you should you should visit. If you, I don't know, if you like, <laughs> it's, a di it's a little bit of a di different take. I do a little bit of a different take on the on the the picker thing. I, you know, I do like to collect things and things that I don't want. I certainly will resell as much as I can. But um, the guys that that do that online. I mean, I really like their videos, honestly. That's kind of how I got started, but as you know, I, I make things out of stuff. Could be could be anything. And so I do that on top. But my point is, you know, I know I've, I've made a video about the Cincinnati, Pick, Cincinnati Picker, and I just mentioned Lonnie. He's got a channel, I believe it's, he used to have two. Got a little jailbreak by another ant. So that's going to be an interesting uh, spring. It's kind of lethargic, though. He's just waking up. And um, so, yeah, th th those are fun. Watching people go to um, go to garage sales and knowing, like, the, the most random thing that's worth, you know, something that they could get for, you know, a couple of bucks and they can sell for, you know, whatever. Fifty, sixty, seventy dollars, a hundred dollars. I mean, anything from quilts that you would never think to pick up to I don't know I saw a video the other night there was a, a guy who was selling um, decon rat poison type of stuff that's legal but I guess they don't make anymore and it, it's something you would never think to buy at a at a garage sale and it was I don't want to guess but I think it was like 60 bucks for a couple of couple of traps like wow jeez they're very interesting anyway all right there's some yellow just to give us the get the school colors going i've got a i've got an idea for for over here whether i can pull it off or not with a stencil we'll see um very quickly all right so now it's uh it's gonna get messy um <laughs> Not sure how this is going to come out. I did my best to uh, cut out, hand cut out a stencil of the Drexel Dragon. Um, obviously, the uh, the school's logo. You can't really see it on camera. Um, 
so all I can tell you is I'm going to use as little paint as I can. Yeah, go figure. I say that in every video, but in this case, I just have to um, really see how we can get this going here. So this is supposed to be the claw. Um, I did, you know, I I did trace a a a picture or a facsimile of of the dragon from the school and put that over a blank stencil but I'm kind of flying blind here I think we'll be all right but I certainly we certainly may not because I can barely see where I'm going here even though I do have my my old man glasses on um, so let's see what happens So the idea is, is sort of a, a dragon coming, dragon coming in, Jesus, excuse me, a, um, a dragon coming out of nowhere into the 312. School colors, kind of, kind of faded out over here at the edge, just lightly, lightly, lightly. So much pressure, Emma, you're putting on the old man here. <laughs> it's so funny, because it's... It, I have to admit, it's a little more pressure doing this when it's somebody... Somebody you love, and you don't want to give them something terrible. So, let's... All right. Let me just take a quick look here. Alright, so we're going to see what this attempt at, a, at the Drexel Dragon produced. If it's horrendous, you're probably not going to see it. You know what? I, I, I'm, I'll take it. I'm taking it. I don't love it. I like it. I like it a lot, but I'm not. Fix the camera for you. Nothing to go nuts about, but yeah, I'll take it. All right, great. So I can move on. Awesome. Uh, moving right along. Yeah, I I'm just freehanding some some accents, school colors type of stuff here. I'm literally tapping paint on with the brush while I'm putting my glasses on, which is interesting. So, kind of roughing in the, the stripes here without making a mess. Might leave it like that. Just gonna pop a pop a thin um, yellow line here. To join with what I was doing. I, I just think it needs it. 
You'll also notice down the corners I put a uh, triangular blue deal. Amazing how I do that. Pick up the wrong, <laughs> pick up the wrong brush. All right, so now we're looking. Now we're cooking. All right, we'll keep going. Um, I'm thinking. I, I, Thinking about just adding some blue dots across the bottom here as best I can. This area in here, I'm not sure what to do with. Honestly, there are pictures of this logo that have like red triangles or supposed to look like, you know, a, a pseudo modern um, flame coming from the from the dragon's mouth. I don't think I'm going to mess with that. So. Let's just add some circles here. No real reason to, but we're just doing it. Different sizes, different shapes. I mean, I mean, they're all circles, but different sizes. All depends on how much pressure you want to put on it. <clears throat> Why am I whispering? No idea. Okay. Do another small one. Do another small one. became a large one and one more and we'll end with a large one kind of stuck in a crack here No comment. Okay, so get that there. All right. All right. Just playing around. Um, I'm I'm about done with this thing. I I I'd imagine I'm just gonna give it a nice clear coat, and um, I might fix that right there. The that last circle in, in that crack was a was a rough go. But um, I don't want to get too t I don't want to get too uh, crazy with this. So, we'll see. okay. So as you can see, I uh, whitewashed the back of this piece now. Um, not much less left to do. Um, and you'll also see I'm gonna I'm gonna play around with the dragon over here in a sec. But I want to I want to just put a little three one two um, on the back as well, just to. Um, so if people are going to sign it and stuff, it'll, it'll all go around that. So I'll use I'll use the same two colors to get that done. Simple enough. Just throw it on there. So there's half a three. That's half a one. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we will. Um, I think you probably know what I'm getting at here. So then we're going to do a. The bottom half will be yellow. Just throwing it on there. Should 
Shout out Coldplay. Okay, let's put this there. All right, that's a half a three one two. Just double checking that there's no bleeding on the back here, and we'll come back and we'll do some yellow. Just seen better days. So sure has. Okay. All right, so we're just kind of finessing that out, that on there. You know, the yellow is a little challenging on on a on a white surface, but it's all good. Get the point. But let's address this dragon now. If we may. So, anyway, I'm not even real sure why I just did that, but... So let's load up with the blue, and we're going to, as you might have seen in other videos, we're just going to ghost the, um... Jeez, I almost knocked you over again. That's got to be a better way. I refuse to put the camera on the bill of my cap. It's, that's just not going to happen. So, you veteran um, GoPro people, take a seat because I'm not doing that. Until I do. So, let's see how this dragon comes out. Inside joke, this is this is Go Puff the Magic Dragon. How about them apples, Emma? I'm sure you get it. Let's put this here. All right, don't need too much. Just let that dry a bit. All right, now let's see how we did here. We got the Dressel Dragon lurking. So we'll take that. Um, yeah, I'll finish it up. I'm going to add a, a, a wire here so it, so it can be hung on the wall or wherever. And um, I'll show you the final, final um, shortly. Okay, so we're done with the back now, too. Uh, you may notice I, I did include a, um, a heart uh, next to the, the house number. I did put a couple of, I guess, sporty free-handed very quick stripes there and so that's what we're looking for for the back plenty of room for people to sign and 
and give each other a hard time. Uh, of course, a wire with the screws is um, makes it ready for hanging. And the front you've seen. So probably just a clear coat on the back, and we will uh, we'll get this moving along. Get it to Philadelphia. All right. Thanks for coming. If you like this stuff, you know, subscribe. I know a lot of you have, and I appreciate that. And the thumbs up are, are fine, and so are the thumbs down. Totally up to you. Be good. Peace.